Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another night of painting with Harold and I am Harold. And tonight we have a 16 by 20 inch canvas that's turned on landscape. Already covered in a thin even coat of liquid white. And tonight my colors are going to be titanium white, phthalo blue, alizarin crimson, ivory black, dark sienna, van dyke brown, sap green, Cad Yellow, Yellow Ochre, Indian Yellow, and the Evil Bright Red. And I'm not 100% sure how tonight's painting is going to go. <laughs> it's something I got in my mind. I'm just going to give it a shot. And hopefully it turns out okay. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up a two-inch brush. And we'll come right up here. And I'm going to get just a little bit of the Thalo Blue. And then I'm going to come right over into the Van Dyke Brown and I'm going to get just a little bit of the Van Dyke Brown. Very little. And I'm going to mix these two colors right on the brush. That's Thalo Blue and Van Dyke Brown. Very little bit of the Van Dyke Brown. Then I'm going to come up in this corner and I'm going to start in the corners and come across. And you'll You'll see in real dark spots where that Van Dyke Brown is mixing. But now the further we come down the canvas, just like always, it's going to go to mixing with that liquid white. And it will get lighter as it comes down. And we're just putting this on with the little crisscross strokes like we always use. I want to paint this little sky up here. But I like so. Not like that. And then long sweeping strokes will come back across. Blend all those little egg strokes out. And just like that, we got us a pretty decent looking little sky. I'm going to blend these corners out a little bit. I don't want them looking like they're cut off up here. I do want them darker, but I don't want them to just look like two blobs of paint sitting up there. All right, not like so. That should do it for the sky. Then we'll come back over here, pull down a little more blue. Now there's a little bit of brown left, but I'm not gonna pick up any extra. All that's left is what was in the in the paint already. So it may not even show up. All right, we're just gonna come across here. Start at the bottom. And start working our way up. Pulling that color across. And it'll get lighter as it goes up. And we'll come over here. Get a little more paint. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Just like so. And just let it get lighter as it goes up. I guess the main thing when you're doing this is just try to keep this water level so it don't look like it's running off the canvas one side or the other. About like that's all we need. We'll knock all of this color off the brush. Start right up here at the top. And we'll just start blending our way down. And there again, if our little our little uh, space stays in, it'll just look like a little shimmer of light across the water. And if it don't, well, we got the practice of putting it in. All right, about like that where we need to be on our on our water. Alright, I'm gonna knock some of this paint out of the brush because I wanna no, I'm not gonna hold on to that one. I'm gonna just go ahead and let it go. Because we're gonna do something a little different today. 
Alright, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab me a one inch brush. And I'm going to pick up just a hair. I mean a very little bit of the evil bright red. I'm going to come up here into my white. I'm just going to pull this color out on a one inch brush. And I got it loaded on the bristles pretty thick. Now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to start at the top. And I just want to make I just want to make some circles up here. Just come across just like that with a big old circle. And you see how loose that was. I wasn't being extra careful. And then I'm going to knock that color off. And we'll come right back up. And we'll come back up at the top and we'll do it again. And I just want to come across the center of the canvas just like that. And then just come back in here and with these little circles and just keep on making little circles. Just like so. Just like that. On a big old cloud across the sky, just like we got. Then we'll come up here. And we'll get a little more of the white. And then we'll come up here now and tap on the top of these clouds. Because I want them good and bright. Like so. All the way off the canvas over there. <coughs> and we'll come across here and do the same thing here. Just want to tap that color in. Just like so. Alright, I'm going to hang on to that brush a second. Then we'll come up here with a clean, dry 2 inch brush. And I want to just come in here and start just blending this color out across the bottom all the way down, just like so. Then we'll come in here and we'll lightly fluff it up like so. Then we'll come across real light and just Barely touching that canvas. Just barely touching it. Ooh, that's a little too hard. <laughs> my brush dropped out of my hand. I was so light I was trying to hold it. Alright, then we just wanna just come across there and just real lightly hypnotize these. Just make them look real soft up here. That's all we're going for. Just a real soft cloud sitting in the sky up here. Right. I'm going to hang on to that brush. Then I'll come back with my one inch brush again. I'm going to go load it up with the white again. And I want to come up here right under this cloud and I want to do another one. And I'm going to bring it right off the canvas just like so. Right down to the horizon. And then I want to come back and make the top brighter. You always want the top brighter. That way it looks like the sun's kind of hitting it. And we'll come back and kind of give it some high spots and low spots. Just like so. Cross there like that. All right, now I'm going to wash that brush, and I'll knock a little bit of this blue out of my other brush here. And we're going to come up here, and we're going we're gonna to blend the bottom out of this one, just like so. All right, I'm going to drop that brush in the thinner. Then I'm going to reach over here, and I'm going to grab my little what I call my little bunny brush, my real soft bristle brush. And I'm going to bring it up here, fluff this cloud up with it, because it's real soft. And then just barely pull across, just like so. Just barely pull across. 
Just make it look like we got a little movement up here in the clouds. Just ever so light, just like that. All right, now we've got us two little layers of clouds up here. And we'll just set them in the sky, just like so. And we'll wash this brush. I'm probably going to take a brush washing break here in a minute. Just like that, i got five brushes with. All right, now, I'm going to pick up a little bit of the titanium white by itself. Now it's got a little thalo blue in it. Not much, but it's got a little. I'm going to get about that much on my knife. And I'm going to bring it up here and just deposit it up at the top of my palette. And then I'm going to pick up just a little of the black. Don't take much of the black at all. And I'm going to mix it right into the same color. And I'm looking for a light gray color. That's all I want, just a light gray. And if you want to mix it thoroughly, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine. Because what we're fixing to do is uh, we're going to build us a mountain, but we're going to do it with this light gray color. And we want this mountain to look like it's way off in the distance. That's the reason we're going to build it out of this light gray color. And if it's too light, we'll add a little bit of a uh, a little bit more to blue to it. Alright, I'm we'll coming right up here under these clouds. I'm going to start right here. And I just want to come up with a little, little mountain shape across here. And just like always, when you're when you're doing mountains, your uh, your main concern is the outer edge. We're not really too concerned with what's happening on the inside. We just want this this outer edge over here to be uh, clean up here in the sky. We just don't want it to be all rough. I'm going to give this a little, little peek out there to the side. We'll come down and give him another little kick out right there. And you can tell how light this color is. I don't know how that's looking on the canvas. Yeah, it's pretty light. Okay. That's good. Because we want this, we want it to look like it's real far away back here. We'll bring us another little, another little kick off right in here. And we'll just bring it straight down like so. This don't have to be a real big mountain to be affected. Just it needs to be back here. All right. Now we'll come up here. We're gonna try to remove as much of this gray as we can. We're gonna try to let this be our uh, like our mid-tone color, I guess. It's our base color. So, all right, I'm gonna knock a little bit of that paint off of the knife. Then I'm gonna come up here with a clean, dry one inch brush. I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna start pulling this color out. Now, this is even gonna make it even lighter when we go to pulling this out because we've got some of that white under the under them for the clouds. Just come up here, pull this color out, like so. And just take your brush and brush them out. Right there along the water's edge, like so. Pick me up a clean paper towel over here. Then we'll knock that color off. And we'll hang on to that brush for a minute. Alright, now. I'm going to come back up here 
and I want to grab just a little bit of this black. Just a little bit. I'll show you here in a second. I'm going to get just a small roll on my knife. Now since the sun is apparently coming from this direction, we're going to come up here and we're going to add some shadow. Now to add the shadow today in these, in this little mountain setup, I'm going to come across here on the, kind of on the left side and I just want to I just want to barely touch in a few places. I just want to leave the indication up here of some paint. See how light a touch it is? I just, I just want to leave the indication of some black up here. That's all I want to do. And that right there is really too much, but it'll work. We can, we can work with it. But I just I want to pull this color down real light. Just real light. And I'll come back up here and try to get some of this out of the can. If I had to take the brush and do it, I can do that too. But it shouldn't really hurt us too much. But we just want to, we just want a small indication across here of black. We don't want much up here. Just real real light indications in places. Then we'll come back, pick this up just a little bit more. And we'll come up here on this side and just just touch us on some small indications of black on this side. And through here. That's all I want to do. I just I want little little small indications of black here and there. That's all I'm looking for. I don't want a lot of uh, a lot of detail, just a little here and there, just like so. I'm gonna come over here, and you see how I'm pulling that? I'm just I'm pulling it across the mountain, just kind of sideways across here. See how I'm doing that? Now I know this is a way we had never done mountains yet, but I told you the further we go in painting, the, the more we'll do things that kind of work for me and the way I do them. And if you can get this little technique right here to work for you, it uh, sometimes it really makes some beautiful mountains. Okay. Just like so. And you can see how how our uh, black is showing through. I mean our gray is showing through some of that black in places. And that's kind of what we want. Alright, now we'll come up here and we'll go on my white and we'll pull out just some clean white. Flat as I can get it. I'm going to come up here and get me a little roll of white. Don't get too much. Just get you a little roll. Then I'm going to come up here and I'm starting to peaks like we always do. And I'm going to start just kind of working this color across real light. And I'm going to start pulling this color across the same way that I pulled that black. I'm going to pull it across the mountain sideways. See how I'm doing that? And see how that paints mixing with that black and it's just turning it into a darker gray. See that? That's kind of what we want what we're looking for right there. Just like so. Then we'll come up here and get us a little bit more. And we'll start up here at this peak. And we'll do the same thing right here. Start out with that white. And just start letting that color break come across. Just like we always do. Only difference is, this time, 
We're letting it break sideways. That's all we're doing. Instead of going up and down with it, we're just pulling it sideways across this mountain range. <coughs> we'll come up here on this little peak and pull it across and start letting this paint break. Come up here on this little peak and just pull this paint across here and let it. I mean, I hate to keep saying it, but I want y'all to see what I'm doing. I'm just letting it break right over that black. That's all I'm doing. And every so often, if you want to, you know, if you want to jiggle the knife or, you know, move it a little bit to give it some, some motion, hey, feel free. Because all that's going to do is just add a little a little story or a little movement to your to your mountain. That's all it's going to do. Now there's some places up here that we got a little too much white, but don't worry about that. I'll show you how to fix that in a minute. Come over here. Come down this side. Just like so. When I give it a quiet on y'all like that, that means I'm concentrating. <laughs> so all you gotta do is just real lightly come up here and just pull these colors out, just ever so lightly. And I am I am wiggling this knife just a little bit. Not much, but you know, just a little. Just to give the the mountain a little bit of a little bit of shape. And I'm moving a little bit of paint at a time. I'm not using the whole knife. I'm actually using just the just the tip most of the time up here. I guess I should tell you that because that's real important. It looks like I'm pulling with the whole knife at times, but I'm not. So like when I come up here to get this little point right here, I'm just using the tip of the knife. This part's never touching back here to heal. I'm just using just that, just that top part. And then when I get it really moving, I'll drop the whole knife real lightly and just let it graze across this paint. Just ever so lightly in places. Just like so. <clears throat> Just real light like that. That's all I'm looking for. I just want it to look like an old gray rocky mountain back here. Alright now I'm gonna come up here now and I'm gonna get just a hair, just a little bit of the Thalo blue and bring up here and a little of the Van Dyke Brown. And we'll mix them two colors together and they'll make a kind of a crazy looking darker gray color. And 
it's kind of a dull blue. Then I'm going to get just a little roll of that, a real small roll of that, and I'm going to come back up here. Just using the tip of the knife again, I'm going to come over here on this shadow side and I'm just going to start touching that color and just, just letting it touch in a few places. Just ever so lightly. Just here and there. And then come back up here and just kind of work it in. Just like so. And just, just kind of put it up here in places. Just like we did the other color. That blue will give it a more of a deep shadow color than the uh, than the gray itself, but that dark gray is still show through too, <coughs> and it'll still maintain that distant look. Right, then we'll come right up here on this little one, and I'll kind of just come down here and do kind of the same thing. And just pull this color across just like so. Just let these colors just kind of work together. And if every now and then you end up with a little darker spot, well, don't worry about it. It's okay. Right. About like so. fast. Alright, we'll pull me out another little roll of white up here, flat, pick up a little roll. And now I'm going to come up here and just start barely pulling this color down now. Just layering that white on in places. Just right over all this color. Right along these, right along these ridges. Just, just pull that color down like so. Now I'm using that angle that we always use. like so. Just, just barely pull that color down. Let it let it break right off that knife in places. That's all we want it to do. Just anywhere and everywhere up here. Just like so. like that. Just let that white pull off. That's all we're trying to do. Just let it just let it break off that knife so easy. So light. And then when you come up here along this outer edge, you just going to kind of keep pulling down at that same angle just don't you know just don't forget it's a it's a real light touch still a, still the same amount of pressure and I know that puts your hand in a very awkward position and it does take a lot of practice it really does because that's not a position your hands used to used to doing something in but the more you practice with it, the better you'll get. 
believe it or not, you'll, you'll pick up speed doing this the more you practice doing it. But once you get to where you can do this kind of stuff with a knife, you can do anything with a knife. There's a little spot right there. Not All right, now. I hate that spot did that. Let me see if I can fix that real quick. Shouldn't take much paint to fix it. Right, come right here. And just pull that right back up. Start to look like we're smearing it. Alright, there we go. Now. There we go. Okay. Now that is a lot of paint up here. And when this paint dries, it's going to add a lot of texture back here in this mountain. A lot of texture. <laughs> you better take your hand and pull across it and fill it in places. But now just like that, it's a totally different mountain than what we normally do. Totally different. <clears throat> and I hope that the camera is showing you the all the different layers and textures in it. Alright, now I'm gonna take that same one inch brush that we just used to pull the color down. And I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna start tapping the across the bottom here. Now on this one, you, you don't have to so much worry about, you know, coming down at the same angle or whatever, because you really can't, because you don't really know what angle you came down in. So we're just going to come back up here, where we just tapped that at, and we're going to tap across the bottom again. Now we're going to smooth this out, believe it or not, no matter, even though this paint is real thick, across here, we're still going to smooth it out. It's just going to take a second. Okay. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to get us just a little of the white. Then we'll come right up here. Touch this white along the bottom. Just like so. And we're going to start making little circles across here. Just little circles. Just like we was doing a cloud. Just like so. And we're just going to come up here and just, just ever so lightly pull this color up. Just don't go way up high into your mountain there. Just brush it out real light. Just pull that color up just a little bit. Brush it out. Just like so. Get that little bit of mist out there. Just like that. Because this next part's going to be fun. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. While we're waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the recording and clean some brushes. Alright, we got some brushes cleaned now. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pick up my one of my knives. I guess I'll grab a little one, it don't matter. Now in this color we got up here, this blue and brown that we made, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get me just a little bit of sap green, about that much. And I'm going to bring it up here and put it in that same pile of color. And then I'm going to come over here and pick up the rest of that gray that I had left. That light gray that we made the uh, mountain base with. And I'm going to mix all of these colors together. The blue, the brown, the light gray, and the sap green. And that's going to give us a real light green-gray color. Alright, now I'll get all of it off my knife that I can up here. Then I'll grab a fan brush. All I got is a number six. This, this one right here. 
I'm going to come up here and I'm going to load it up with, with the paint on both sides. Just dragging it through. Then I'm going to come right up here on this side of the mountain or that side, whichever side you want to start on, fine. And I'm going to start just tapping me on some some tree shapes across here. Just right up into the mountain. Just like that. And you can't see it everywhere. So just come back and get you a little more color. Come right back up here to tops. Just make sure you can see these tops. And I just want to come across here and make a few. And you've been probably thinking, well Harold, you covered up the mist. And you're absolutely right. I did. Now, I'm going to grab just a little bit more of the blue and bring up here just to make this color a little bit darker and have a little bit more blue tint to it. And I'm going to load the brush up with it. And I'm going to come back up here. And I'm going to do it again. same way just like so and if you still can't see that color the way you need to come down here and get just a little bit of the black now don't use much because you don't want to get these trees too too uh, dark back here we want them light but we want them to be seen too all right there we go right there okay now now we can see them okay just like so. Pull them across like that. Create you like a little island out there. That's all we're looking for. And then just come back up here and get you some more of this color. Same color. Come across the bottom and just, just pile this paint on up here across the bottom. Just like so. Okay. And then pick you up a clean, dry two inch brush. And come back up here now and just pull this color down real lightly straight down just like so until they look the way you want them to look and as soon as they start looking the way you want them to look that's probably when you need to stop knock the color off that brush come across here and just make you a little reflection that's all we do just like so. And just keep in mind that all of this is real far away, so. Alright. Now we're going to grab us a knife again. We'll come up here and get just a little bit of dark sienna. And I'm going to come up here along the bottom. And I just want to just real lightly touch me on a indication of a little bit of land back here with that dark sienna color then I'm going to come back I'm going to grab me just a little bit of the yellow ochre and I'm going to come back up here now and just touch that yellow ochre up here now it won't pull off much but what it does pull off just don't force it, you know, just let it just let it pull off. And it'll it'll set right on top of it. Then we'll clean that knife off. I'm gonna come over here and get me a little bit of white on my knife. I'm gonna come right up here. And I don't want a lot of water line up here, I just wanna a little bit back here just to just to show that this is water. But I don't want it to be real bright. Not like so. That's all I'm looking for. Then we'll grab a little bit more of it. We'll come out here and put ourselves some some little ripples out in the water. And after we get these in, we'll come back with a clean knife. After we get it cleaned off, I'm going to rub these in. 
just real lightly. Just kind of fade them out. Just like so. Just little indications of light ripples out here is all we're looking for. Just real light. Just like that. That'll help sell the illusion of water back there. <coughs> Alright, now I'm going to pick up a one inch brush. And up there in that same pile of color, I'm going to come back. I'm going to add just a little bit more sap green to my brush. And bring it up here and put it in the pile. And a little bit more Van Dyke Brown. A little bit of the dark sienna. Basically all the dark colors. Sienna. Alizarin. Blue. Just all these colors. And the green that's already up here. And I'm just going to tap these colors right in the brush. And just work, work them in that brush real good. Just like so. Then I'm going to come right up here beside it. And I just want to touch on the indication of a little tree here. I'm going to bring that tree right down beside the... I'm going to stop it about right in there. And I know what you're thinking. What kind of tree is that? Huh? <laughs> we're, going to, we're going to turn it into a tree here. Okay, about like so. That's all we're looking for. <clears throat> Come up here and get a little more of these dark colors. One more point over here. Makes a little bit taller tree. And this one can be a little more open. You know, leave it to where the birds can fly through it. And just leave it, leave it more open. And bring it down just a little further than that one. Not like so. Okay. Then we'll come up here and get us some more colors. Green, brown, dark sienna. Just a bunch of the dark colors. And we'll come up here now and we'll make us even taller tree. Just about like so. Just make sure you keep some colors on your brush. Now your colors up here, I don't want to say they're not important, but just keep in mind we got a highlight. <laughs> That's the thing. We we got to we got to add highlights here in a little bit, so just keep that in mind. Alright, then we want to bring this one down just a little further than that. Just like so. See how they how they at an angle like that? I'm gonna show you why here in just a second. Okay. Now, while we're working on this side, let's grab our knife and we'll come up here and we'll come right over here in the Van Dyke Brown, pull it out and get me a little roll. Then we'll come right up here under this tree, this first one, and we'll pull it out, kind of at an angle across here, about like so. And we'll come back. And then I'll come back just a little bit further, right in there maybe. All right, now watch this step right here because this is kind of important. I want to grab this at the top like that. Put my knife right at the top of this color. And it'll come around just like so. See how I did that? my way back now. I want to keep, I want to pull this color on back. Just like so. I'm going to have to use some dark sienna now. I'm out of Van Dyke Brown. 
it don't really matter which brown you use right here because we got to come back and highlight this. But I want this to, I want this to pull out up here, like so, where it comes around, like that. And then I'm going to bring this part around. Even if I had to come in here and scrape some of this out, bring it down here, I can do that. Alright, now, once you got that color on there like that and got it kind of established your direction, you come back up here now with your brush, and you can take this color now. Pull it around with your brush. See how we're doing that? I'm just coming off here, pulling this color around, just like so. Just pull it all the way off the canvas, just like that. Here, let's go ahead and highlight this. Well, let's fix this first because this kind of looks funky. So let's let's go ahead and fix this back here. That way it ain't confusing nobody. Okay. Come up here with a little bit of white. A bit of Indian, I mean, a uh, yellow ochre. Get just a little roll of it. And come up here and just real lightly come up here and put your little across the top. And then come back this way and kind of. Just kind of pull it in the direction that we're coming off the canvas over here. Just like so. And if you need to, get you a little more color. It's just white and Indian. I'm a yellow ochre, is all it is. And then just come in here and just pull this color right on off the Run it off the canvas. Just like so. Just like that. And over here we got us a we got us a bank. So when we come under here. I want this to be a darker color, so don't use as much as your of your uh, highlight color up there. And just come over here and just kind of pull it down a little bit. This kind of creates your little cove back in here. See how it did? Well, you don't see how it did it yet because we ain't through in here, but. <laughs> Once we get through in here, you'll see it. All right, now we want to take just a little bit on this brush. Well, as a matter of fact, let's go up here. We'll just kind of straighten it up some. We got plenty of color in it. We'll just kind of brush it around and straighten it up. We'll come right in here, pull a little bit of this color down across here. All the way across the back, just like so. And then it gets smaller as it goes toward the end out here. Just like that. And we'll take a little bit of white, a little bit of that yellow ochre in it still. And we'll put us just a 
little indication of a water line back here. Watch how this water line does now. This water line is going to come down and it's going to follow that bank around. It's just going to disappear once it gets over here under the bank because you wouldn't be able to see it from this side because it's under this beach. So keeping the knife level, all I'm doing with just that little bit of paint on there is just dropping down but I'm keeping it level across here until it gets to right there and just let it disappear. And then to make it look like water, just come back up here, get you a couple little couple little ripples in there. And see I didn't even brush across my reflection. Mm. I was supposed to do that. I'm getting ahead of myself. Right, we'll do that right quick. Pull it down like so. Alright, y'all don't do that at home. Make sure you pull down your reflection first. And then kind of go across them. Let me see if I can clean my up a little bit. Alright, now, I'm going to clean this little bank back up. Right now we're going to put us a couple of little, couple of little ripples in here to give us the indication of water, about like so. And then just like up at the top there, we'll come back and we'll clean these up just like this. It look like water back in here. Not like so. Now, <coughs> we got to get our script liner brush and get some thinner on it. Just come up here into this color that we made a couple trees out of. All we're looking for is a good dark color to use. Alright, now on this first little tree right here, we're going to come up here and put a trunk in. And just a couple little limbs. I don't think it's going to take near as many as these over here will. Because I don't have a clue how many limbs are going to be seen in all this. Probably not many, to be honest with you. I'm going to put us another one here and there. Just make it look like several little trees growing back here. We'll add the limbs. You know, whether they're seen or not, you know, we never know that until we start highlighting. But if I was a betting man, I'd be willing to bet you not many of them show. Okay, I'm going to clean my script on the brush up right quick. Now the first little tree we're going to do I'm going to grab just a little bit of thinner on it. Then we'll come right up here in the bright yellow. Just tap a little bit on the brush. Come up here and get just a baby bit of green put in it. I don't, I don't need a lot of green, just, just a little. Because I don't really need a lot of color in this. I'm just going to come up here and touch it. And push up. Just like so. Just like we made it. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to come down and I'm going to stop about the base down here. Because I'm going to come across that bottom and put in a few little, a few little, uh, 
bushes here in a few minutes. Alright, I'll pick up just a little bit more thinner. Come up here in the straight cad yellow. I mean the straight well I want this yellow ochre to be cad yellow from night gone. Alright, then I'll come up here and get a little green put in it. Just a little. Pat it right on the brush. Still using the same one inch brush. I'm coming right up here and apply some of this yellow ochre now. Get just a little bit more thinner. So it'll pull off that brush better. Come on, we can get just a little cat yellow, not much. Come up here and make a little indication of a few limbs up here on this one. We'll let it grow over here in front of the little, the little green one, just a little bit. Not much, but just a little bit. And we'll, we'll come down with it and stop a little bit before we get to the bottom on that. All right, now come up here and get just a little bit more thinner. For some reason, this paint is really absorbing it tonight. I'm going to come up here and get just a little bit of the Blizzard Crimson. Bring it down into the yellow ochre. How about that? I got it right. First try that time. <laughs> Alright. We'll tap some of that right on the brush. Same brush. Alright, we'll come up here. Make us a, another little, another little tree up here. Just want to be careful up here, and y'all know what it is we don't want to do. We don't want to kill all the dark. Right, we'll bring it down, to almost the bottom, and we'll stop. <coughs> I tell you what, I should have done. I should have grabbed some orange tonight, but I forgot all about that. Oh well. All right, we're gonna come right back into the cad yellow now. We'll get just a tad more thinner. Come right back into the cad yellow, cause now we got a lot of color on the brush. We got uh, green, blizzard crimson, yellow ochre, cad yellow. We got just an array of colors here. Alright, I'm gonna start right up here with this one. Looks like yellow ochre was the predominant color, which is fine. It's still in that color variant. As long as we stay in these color variants, we are alright. We just don't want to venture out and turn nothing purple. <laughs> I've done that. I know I'm sitting here laughing, but I've done it. Maybe it's a little dark up here. Just let these trees just all bunch up. We want it to look like a little cluster of trees back here. See how that looks? Just like a little cluster of trees is all, it, all we was going for, and that's kind of what it looks like. So. I can't say I'm 100% happy with that. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean this brush right quick. And I'm going to come back up here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my fan brush and clean that out a little bit. It won't take much. Just knock some this color out of it that was in it. And then I'm going to come right up here and get just a little bit more of this sap green and bring down here into my cad yellow just on the fan brush this time. And I'm going to tap the bristles right down into it and just splay them out. Just 
spread them bristles out. Come back up here and give this just a little indication of a make it look more like a maybe an evergreen. Not like so. Give it a little more color. I think I like that better. And we'll come up here at the top. Yeah, I think I like that better. Yeah, definitely. All right, now, to put some bushes along that bottom, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to grab my little, my little half round brush, and I'll come up here and get it in the thinner. And I think since this color back here is yellow, ochre dominant. I think what I'll do is come over here and get in my kid, I mean my Indian yellow. Tap a little of that Indian yellow on. And come over here and pick up some white. And mix these colors together. And that should be really, really brighter. And with that being said, I'm going to come right in here with just the top of this brush. I'm going to tap it down right onto the little road that we made. Just like so. See how I did that? Tapping it right down to the road. Because I'm going to come back in and clean this road up in a minute. And I'm going to come back over here with my Indian yellow colors. I mean my yellow ochre color. Well, I'm just off on my ochre tonight. Wow. Right, I'm gonna come up here and add the indication of a couple more little bushes across here. Over here and get some of the cad yellow. Put in a couple little bushes across there. Maybe pick up a little of the bright red. Put a little Put a little firecracker out here. Not like so. But that's all we're looking for across here, just a little indication of bushes. Okay? Now to clean all this up, I'm gonna come back up here and I'm gonna pick up some more of my yellow ochre and white that I had over here. And I'm just gonna come back in here on that same color and just pull it right across the bottom of these little bushes we just made, just like so. That's all I'm doing. And just pull some of that color off. See how I did that with the knife? Just pull a little of it off on top like that. And then when it gets over here, where it makes that turn, just come on around and going around let it make his turn across here just like so just like that and then in here we got a little bit of the color on that so to fix that all you got to do is just come right back in here and just pull this dark color right back down and it'll take care of a bit of that and you can even leave a little of that color up there and make it look like a little bit of grass. So so just like that, that's fixed. That is one of the things I've said over and over and over about oil paint. It's so forgiving. I love it for that. The fact that you can do so much with it and just get away with stuff. It'll let you get away with so much. It's so forgiving. Right, we'll just keep smoothing this right on out. Alright, now, 
we got a dirty brush here. It's got all these colors in it. So I'm going to come back up here now and get a little of the Van Dyke Brown and the Dark Sienna. And I'm going to come right here. And I just want to come right down beside the road. Just like so. Right off the road. Just like that. With a couple of bushes. Just like so. Just want them all sticking straight up across here. And I don't want them to run the whole whole length of the road. All right, then we'll get a little more color. And I'm going to come across here now. And I'm going to come up into the road. Come all the way up on this side. Just get as many dark colors as you can up here. And just bring this up and around. Bring it all the way off the canvas over here. Just like so. And just like that. We got us a pretty nice little Nice little cove built in here. All right, I tell you what, since we already got this brush contaminated, we'll use it. All right, come right up here into the cad yellow first. Since it's got a lot of color on it already. I'm gonna start right here. I'll just. Start plugging away on this little fire. Yeah. Like so. <coughs> we'll come over here on the ochre side and the Indian yellow side. Just tap all these colors right on the brush. Maybe pick up a little of the green. We'll come right up here. We'll start right here on it. Just like so. Just leave yourself some some darks in here. And just like that. We get a nice little indication of the cove out here. I'm going to take and pull us a couple of sticks and tweeds in here, like so. And over on this side, we'll. Pull in a couple, like so. And we'll just take us a one inch brush, come up here and just kind of lightly tap in places. Just cover them up some in places, Not like so. And then over here in a couple places. Just add that little darkness back in there like that. And just like that, I'd say that side's finished. And we'll start on that side now. Alright, I tell you what, I got a mess here. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll put out a couple more colors and wash a couple brushes, then we'll come back and work on that side. Alright, we got our brushes clean again. And oh, let me show you what I did do while you were gone. Or while I was gone. I took 
the fan brush and I just came in here where these bushes stop and I just tapped on a few more bushes around the corner just to make it look like it was complete because it it just looked incomplete to me so I figured I'd go ahead and knock that out right quick so we can start on this other side and I think to get started on that side I'll grab a one inch brush and get just a little bit of thinner and I'll come back up here. I got out some more blue, black, Van Dyke brown, all my dark colors. And I'll come right up here in the brown. You know, I forgot to put out some more sap green. I got to do that. Wow. I can't believe I forgot sap green. Huh. Okay. Alright. Now this time, I'm going to come up here right here in this mountain. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to start with me a little, little tree shape right in here. And I'll come down. And I'll come back over here. Come up. Maybe just a little higher. Not like so. Got to kind of cross here like this. And I think that'll be enough to do what we're fixing to do here. We'll put us in some color right here. And we'll pull it, pull this color straight down. Make us a little. little island out here. Not like so. And we'll grab our knife and we'll get us just a little bit of the color and come in here and give him some earth to stand on. So they don't topple over and fall out in the lake. And we'll come over and grab a little of the white. Mix into the same color. Come back up here and just barely touch. Let that gray pull off. Just a little highlight across there. Just a little bit. I like so. Alright, now this time we won't forget to come across here and pull these colors real light. And just like before, we don't need that to be real, real bright back here. So I'll get just a little bit of thinner. I'll come up here in these colors we've been using. Let me get some more green out real quick while I'm thinking about it. I can't believe I didn't put green out while ago. The color the colors that is. Okay. And come through the yellow. It's got all these colors. It's mixed with all kind of stuff. Kind of like a surprise of colors I get. Alright, we'll come in up here. Just touch around on him. Make him look like a little tree back here. And we'll bring some of that color right down into the water. Just like so. And we'll come over here and grab some of the ochre. Tap it right on the brush. And we'll come up here and give him a little, little color. Tap some of it down in the water. Like so. 
and we're going to need in yellow and white. Get a little bit of that color. I'll come up here. Give him a little indication of color back in here. And we'll touch it down in the, in the water. Like so. Since it's a little taller, we'll bring it down a little further. Alright. Well, I tell you, I am messing up some brush today. Alright, now we want to just barely pull these colors down here. Just barely. And then come across real gentle. Real gentle. Give them some reflection. Just like so. Then come up here and grab a little of our white again. We don't want it to be real bright. So we'll just put it along like so. Back up here and kind of work it in because I don't want it to be real bright. Then we'll give ourselves the indication of a few little ripples out here in this. And just like before, we'll come in here and just kind of work them in. Just kind of smear them in. Like so. Just want the indication of water there. That's all we're looking for. Okay. Now the fun part. <laughs> all right. Now we're gonna grab a two-inch brush, and we're gonna come up here, and we're gonna go right into the sap green. The Van Dyke Brown, all the dark colors again. The black, the lizard, the blue. Just tap all these colors together right here on the brush. This is a two inch brush. I'm just tapping them colors in. Alright. I'm going to come right up here and I'm just going to start at kind of at the top of the canvas and just work my way around. Just making the indication of some tree shapes up here. And yes, I said shapes, because there's going to be more than one tree in all this. Believe me, there ain't no way all this is going to be one tree. <laughs> all right, and we'll just start bringing it back in, about like so. And then just kind of turn the brush sideways. And let's just start making these little bushes out across here. And we'll just bring this out a little, not a little island, right in here. Not like so. Yep, I think that'll do. <coughs> Alright, now I'm going to grab the script line brush again. And I'll just bring it up into some of this dark color. I'm not going to pick out just one. I'll just, whatever color looks dark, I'll just drop it in there and pull some out. I'm going to come over here and pull us up the trunk. We'll come over here and pull us up a trunk. 
over here, that in here, maybe one over here going off to Kansas, then we'll come up here and add on some limbs here and there. Because just like every time we do this, I don't have a clue how many of these limbs are going to show. Probably none of them. But as long as we put some in there, we know they're there. And that's the important thing. As long as we know we put them in and we got to practice doing it. Right. Clean up that little script line brush. Now I'm going to pick up my little my little oval brush. I'll bring it up here and get some thinner on it. And we'll come right down into the yellow. And we'll pick up just a little of this sap green. It shouldn't take much. I'm just going to tap some color on the brush. I'm going to try to do another live painting Thursday night because I'm going to try to see if my TikTok banner is lifted. And if it is, I'm going to try to do one over there, maybe tomorrow. So hopefully they got me unbanned over there or unsuspended, whatever you want to call it. Turned out to be a real pretty coat. Look at that. Wow. That really did. Look at that. That was so pretty. Okay. I'll bring it on down a little bit. We'll say that's just about it for that tree. Then we'll come over here and get just a little bit more thinner. Come over here into some yellow ochre. How about that? I got it right in here. <laughs> Alright. Get some little yellow ochre. And it's got a little green in it. And we'll come up here and we'll turn this into a little tree. Like so. Got me painting at this angle again. You can't really see what I'm doing. Right, then I'll grab a little bit of the lizard. Tap it right on. Then I'll come over here under this little green one. And we'll add us another little, another little tree over here. Bring him down. About like so. Let's go get a little of this white. Come over here into the yellow, into the Indian yellow. Get a little bit more thinner. Come over here and tap this color on. Come up here and add us another little, another little tree in here. So, bring them down about right there. Let's see how that ended up. That's yeah, not bad. Okay. Then I will pick me up a one inch brush. Since we've got us a good dark color already going on up here. 
Well, I'll tell you what, before I do that, I'm going to come up here and get some of this Van Dyke burn color, or a good dark color. And I'm going to come out under here and create new. Little land under here. Not like so. I guess they've been too quiet too long tonight. They had to be heard. They get too carried away, I'll stop the video. Last time I did that and come back, it turned green. I don't know what happened. Right about like so. I'll grab a little of the white, a little bit of the ochre. There's a little bit of the black in that too. Here. It don't take much, just just a little here and there. Just to add a little flavor, just like so. That's all we're looking for. We got a little, a little limb peeking out back here. Y'all see that? A little bush. Begging for some color. And I'll tell you what. I'm going to give him some. I'm going to give him some color. I'm going to give him some bright green. Let's go. Firecracker right there. See that Bob would have been proud of that one. <laughs> Whew. That's a little too red, huh? Let's tone that down a little. There we go. Well, I'm telling you, that joker was. He was screaming red. Alright, I'll clean this brush off. Then we'll come right up here to my yellow. It's got a little of sap green in it. I'm going to tap some of this color on the brush. Then I'll come right over here under these trees. I'm going to leave a little dark. And I'm going to come across here. On this layer of the land like so. Bring this grass down all the way to the to the end out here. Just tap on a little more. Just follow that, follow that same little, same little edge on the end out here. Just tapping it on. And then when you get down to the, to the base down here, you can drop down into, in the dirt just a little bit. And, make that grass grow into it some. You have to put a little thinner on there to make it do that, but we can do that. We'll bring all these other colors in. Just come over here and let that grass run right down on the bank, just like so. for just a little bit. Like 
fogo. Just to make that look like a little grassy metal out there. Turn it brush a little bit. Slide off a little bit. Well, I got bright red everywhere up here. Oh my god. Even bright red showing out again. <laughs> that stuff is a mess. Jeez, baby. Let me dry this off a little bit. So I'm going to come right up here. And I'm going to grab just a little of this brown. And pull it down across here. Just pull it straight down. Just like so. Put a little reflection in the water here. Just like that. Cover up the brush and come back up here real lightly. Pull that reflection across just like so. Then take the knife, go up here and get some white. Just like so. <coughs> then we'll come up here and give us an indication of a few little ripples out in here. And since they're closer, we won't we won't smear them. In. We'll let them ride. I think that turned out pretty good. We're gonna we're gonna put our mark on it. I'm happy with that the way it turned out. I'm gonna come right here into my red. Come over here. Just like that. Let the brush up. Let's see how I need to turn this to where y'all can see it now. Like that maybe. There we go. Alright, hope y'all enjoyed this one. This is uh this is a little different. We did we did a few things different in this one. Uh I wouldn't say this is a beginner painting, but you know, intermediate at least. I mean it's it's not real hard. You just have to pay attention to kind of what you're doing in, in a few places, but it's not really no harder than anything else. It's just a lot of tapping and a lot of color. <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, <coughs> if you will, just put the word out about the channel. I'm running out of time and getting that thousand. But uh, we over the sub hundred mark now, and I will be doing a giveaway tomorrow's Wednesday. I'll probably be doing the $70 giveaway Thursday or Friday. I'll have everything ready to draw the name for that. So somebody's fixing to win 70 bucks. And then when we get to 80, I mean 800, I'm going to do $80. 900 90 dollars. And then of course we hit that thousand. I'm giving away that Bob Ross Master Set at 100 bucks. So. I'm trying to give back to, to y'all because, I mean, without y'all, this wouldn't exist. And I want to show my appreciation. So thank y'all very much for joining me tonight. I love you guys. And God loves you more. I really hope y'all enjoyed this painting. And I hope you give it a try. See you next time. Painting where?